Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. I'm Emerald and today I'm going to give you a tour of our log yard. We do a lot here and stuff is constantly changing, so I thought it was about time I gave you guys a complete tour of everything we do here. So grab a cup of coffee and follow me. What better place to start than the main focus of our business, our lumber? So this is our hemlock inventory. We have all of the piles set up in a way that makes sense so that you don't really need a measuring tape, although it would be helpful. So we have our one by three pile, our one by four, our one by six, one by eight, one by 10. So it's all in order. And then we inventory tens and 12 footers. So this would be our 10 foot piles all along here. And then our 12 foot piles would be on the outside. And then if you continue walking, you'll get to our two inch sections where it starts back at the beginning with your two by four have quite a hefty pile of two by fours right now. This is a very popular dimension as you can imagine. Uh, so our pile doesn't usually get that big. People come in and buy it. So we have our two inch and then if you continue walking we will get to our pile of D logs and the D logs is a type of siding that you can use uh, to make it look like a log cabin, which is super neat. Um, and then if we continue walking, we get to our posts and beams, which we have only four by fours right here right now, but we also inventory six by sixes as well. And then something new that we've been doing, which I know the boss is super ecstatic about, is our peeled posts. And we have quite a few here already. These are absolutely gorgeous, really add a nice touch to any home and look way more aesthetically pleasing than a simple 6x6 six six or 4x4 four four post. Now, just a block over from our peeled posts, we have our campfire wood. Right now, we don't have very much, but you can tell that we have them broken down into little jigs, and it's for a very good price compared to those little bundles that you get, and uh, plenty there for a weekend trip. Over from that, we have our sawdust pile. I get a lot of questions um, of people asking me, what do we do with our sawdust? And we do sell it. We have a lot of customers come in who use it for animal bedding. That is what we mainly sell it for. If you guys keep up with the channel, you know that I started uh, some potting soil here. So uh, it's just sitting and kind of getting ready here. It, it's looking pretty good so far. This is the flower mix and we have our vegetable mix over here. I did end up separating it, which I don't think I had on video. I spread it out so it can be easier to mix up a little bit because it was too hard having two pile, different piles that we had to keep separate. So I put the vegetable mix in another bin over here so it's easier to, to mix up. Here we have our firewood inventory. Uh, this is for customers who come in and just want to get a pickup bed full. We don't usually take out of inventory to go on deliveries. We usually uh, actually process all of the wood right into the trailer to be delivered. We actually uh, season the logs, not the firewood itself. So that way we can just process it right into the trailer and it is seasoned. It doesn't have to sit because it's, we seasoned the log, not the split wood. So this is our inventory. It's not that big right now. We struggle to actually keep anything in inventory because most of it goes out for delivery. Uh, but hopefully we can get this built up enough through the summer here. Here my mom has saw horses set up and this is where she builds all of the garden bed kits. Our garden bed kits come pre-drilled with all the hardware. So it's a really good deal here and 
includes a complete bed of compost that fills up your garden bed all the way to the tippy top and it's a pretty deep bed so it's quite a lot of compost. Behind this we have our buzz saw which sometimes we have customers who come in that need their boards a few boards chopped down short so we will chop them down for them for no extra cost and we also uh, cut all of the hatchet house boards down on the buzz saw as well. Here we have the edger, which I know I've done plenty of videos on, uh, but you can see our peeled posts we have up here and it looks a lot better than this shabby painted peeling post. <laughs> I've had a few people ask me how the kiln is doing and it is doing pretty well, especially now that it is warm and the sun has been shining and heating it up. All the wood in here is actually done. I took a moisture meter and checked it and the moisture is as low as it's probably going to get. I also put my burls in here to be kiln dried as well. And because it's a slow process, you have minimal cracking, which is of course a plus. A lot to improve how the office looks over the last year and I think it looks way better than it did when we grow our own vegetables and we have chickens so sometimes we'll bring up some of the extra produce and eggs and if a customer stops in they see that uh, we also can sell some of that stuff as well and it looks looks pretty so and of course we have the mill which i know if you've seen my channel before you've probably seen this the most this is our mill setup and it is the biggest part of what we do here this is the deck we have that we built for doing the peeled posts on uh, it, it's pretty sturdy here and it works pretty well all the bark just kind of falls down and you can scoop that up uh, and you can load it right on with the loader behind us right now. So it works pretty good in all. And yeah, we've had a lot of success with it so far. All right, so here is where all of the firewood happens. We have our big Bell's firewood processor and then our smaller Timberwolf firewood splitter. And so Judah mainly runs the Timberwolf splitter, which I know you guys have seen him run. Uh, we, it handles the big logs that we cut with the chainsaw and then the bells handles the long logs that are skinny. Of course, the bells is way faster, but we have a large supply of very large logs that we can cut down. So we end up running the timber wolf more often. All right, we have a large supply of logs and we try to keep them pretty organized. This is our hemlock here, mainly smaller logs. Right here we have the pile for the peeled posts, which is just mainly puny logs from like the top of the tree that uh, my, my dad saved when he was in the woods, specifically for our peeled posts. This is our very large slab pile. Slabs are the main waste product of running the mill. We do manage to get rid of that, but that will be a video for a different time. And this is all of our firewood. And all of this is going to be cut down with the chainsaw and split on the timber wolf. And yes, it is a lot of wood. Uh, this thing goes way back. So um, better get to it, Judah. And I don't know what else to say about that. For a ginormous firewood pile, we have our ginormous pile of compost and yes the chainsaw is very noisy in the background uh, this stuff is the done stuff right here and then as we go farther this way it becomes less done uh, so this stuff over here has been cooked for a while you can tell it's 
ready. Perfectly ready. And then you can tell as we get more this way, you can still see the hay um, and some of the manure that's in it hasn't broken down quite yet. One interesting fact about the log yard that was very intentional on the boss's behalf was that no backing up is necessary. You can go drive all the way around the log yard and then you can also drive right through it. So you don't have to back up and that makes it a lot safer and saves a lot of hassle. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07 and I'll see you next time.